Hey there guys, it's Crafty Planner Queen. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe and stick around to see me create a beautiful faith planner spread using die cuts from Illustrated Faith. I get a lot of questions about die cuts. How can you use them in your spreads? How can you make them make sense for you? And I'm gonna show you how you can create an entire spread with die cuts. So stick around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. First things first guys, never throw away old guts to your old planners. This is, I think, the Llama Party Planner that I had from 2019. So I'm simply gonna write out those dates and I am going to use it for my faith planner spread this week because I really love the washi line and it goes really nice with my spread. This also will easily be covered by a die cut and you'll see how I do that soon. So I'm just gonna take my whiteout pen that I got for $1 from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cover up the date. And with the new dates, it's always best to use paper stickers rather than clear stickers because you'll get a nice clean cover up, okay? So I'm just going in and I'm just gonna cover those numbers up and I'm gonna go ahead with my um, spread while that dries so it can dry completely and I can dig in my stash and find the uh, numbers that I want to use. So <clears throat> that's one way that you can use your old planner. Some people will jump to a new planner that starts in July because they just really like it. And that's probably what I did with this particular planner. But when I went and looked through my stash and found these pages, I definitely thought I could repurpose them and they would look really pretty with these illustrated faith die cuts that I have. Okay, so we've whited out the dates and while that's drying, we're gonna get rid of this because it's definitely not the date. I'm gonna start with this beautiful die cut here. This is my faith planner. So this is a faith base spread. Get a nice amount of tape on there and simply cover it how you want to cover it. I'm gonna go there. So it's a little off the edge and then you know, you go back and trim it at the end. I'm using my bone folder to smooth it down just because I have sweaty palms, guys, and I don't like to get any imprints on my sheets. So a lot of people have been asking, why do I use the bone folder? I simply don't want to uh, put my hands so much on the spread. And then this little worth, uh, worth noting, I'm not gonna use that either. So I'm just gonna take a little cute heart that came in this um, package as well. And I'm gonna try to do this spread 90% uh, die cuts since I'm showing you guys how cool they are in your spreads. And then I'll add some, if I have like some nice pretty watercolor stickers that I think might look nice and complement it, I'll add those as well. Another thing about using die cuts versus stickers in your planner is that they're really good to pre-plan and stage. So say I wanna go in, right? These girls are just so gorgeous. Say I wanna go in and put all my different diverse girls here just to see if I'm gonna like it. I don't have to commit at all. See, I don't have to commit. They're just down on the page and I can see uh, what I think about it. And I think that looks great. And then I also thought I liked beautiful inside and out. Maybe that will go right there. But I'm not committed to it. I could also change it. I could put them in the middle. I could kind of do whatever. So, but I love this. I think it's great. Um, this page has four. So it makes me think, should I, hmm, should I switch everything I had originally thought and put the girls over here for more space? Now I kind of like them a little crowded. I think I like them a little crowded because I'm also gonna have girls over here in the corner. Let's see how that will look. So now we're just doing some staging, like I said, and seeing what we like. Oh, and this says loved beyond measure. That's nice. Oh, that's pretty. 
Yeah, I love that. And you guys see why I was saying about that washi line and why it looks so beautiful uh, with that font. Again, these die cuts are from Illustrated Faith. I actually ordered them from Amazon. So we stage around and if we like it, then we can go for it, then we can tape it down, okay? With the stickers, once you put them down, you can do a little bit of peeling up and down, but really once you put them down, you want to be done with it. So I think I'll start with the girls. We'll start there. I think I got some nice placement with the with the up down situation. So that's where I'm going to start. Surprisingly, the tape runner is really strong though. So that's why you do your staging because once you do tack it down, they're usually pretty good. I won't do a final press until I make sure the placement is really what I wanted. The up down, I love these girls. They are just so gorgeous. I love how they um, don't have features. They just have shades. It's really cool. And then I go and smooth them down and I make it final. So as you can see, die cuts have so much, especially when you have an amazing um, illustrator like this, they really have so much personality and they have a little bit more dimension um, than just a traditional sticker. So that's another reason why I like them. But I definitely wanted to do this spread after I did a live on Instagram the other day and I had some ladies um, say they had questions that about like they never know what to do with their die cuts or how to use them in their spread. Beautiful inside and out. I love this because it's all about unity, faith. What does God say, you know, that we should do? Everyone is sitting there kind of boggling their minds right now about the race problem, the race um racial tension but when you are a faith-filled person and you read the word you see what God says and how he believes that we should act towards each other and it is to be unified all right then I have this cool uh colorful box die cut type situation I thought I could really write a scripture or reflection in there and I was thinking about putting it right there I don't like it in the middle because we already have this over here I think I like it over here. I didn't know if I liked it over the line or under the line, which is a very small thing that I should not even fuss with. And I was gonna give a little a little floral action, but maybe I have to wait <clears throat> to do my floral until I put my numbers in. But that is something I'm thinking about. But the colorful box, are we liking it right here? I think so. And then I can still write you know, here, I usually write my prayer over here, so I probably will leave that um, open. So yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go forward with that. Get some tape on it. And let's see, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right on the line. And the floral might cover the number, whatever number I choose to put there a little bit, which is fine. It's coming together lovely, I like that. What do I wanna do over here? So we have this one over here, I have this hexagon one. I was thinking about maybe putting in this corner and then giving it a little, a couple little embellishments. Still leaving plenty of room for myself to write. And maybe the floral over here Let's see. Um, I could put under under the hexagon. See, I'm able to stage, guys, and say, oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, okay. I'm feeling that. Okay, so let's see. Um, <clears throat> let's start with the floral since that's going to be underneath. So now I see it goes right in between those two lines. Now, don't get me wrong, you can also do staging with your stickers. Um, the sticker guide, the sticker planning guide that came out is actually a great tool for that. Okay, I think I'm gonna do my floral right about here. If you wanted to peek underneath, like over here, I'm gonna go over top. Over here, I'm gonna go underneath. And you can kind of play around, play around with it. Um, 
I'm not using my Tombow because I need refills. Tombow is definitely probably the strongest. I'm just using the Elmer's um, tape runner for today. All right, so let's get our, get our placement. Okay. I don't wanna cover it up that much, but it's okay. Just, just peeking underneath. It's fine. Let's smooth it out. Smooth it out. It's really lovely. Oh, don't forget about our little embellishment. So I definitely want you guys to talk to me in the comments and tell me, have you done spreads in your planners with mostly die cuts? How do you feel about it? Um, are you comfortable? Do you use them in another way? Because these are, let's talk about other ways you could use die cuts like this. You could also use them. They are great for card making, um, scrapbooking, of course. Um, these are faith ones. So faith, like Bible journaling, they have a lot of different, um, different ways that you could, uh, use them. So I thought I'm going to do her upright and then her like a little slanted. Yeah, so let's see. Let's get some tape on these babies. And then there are the glue dots. So say you wanted to reuse them again. I'm putting them down to be final because I'm just okay with that. But say you wanted to use them again, you totally could. Let's see. Um... right about there if you use like the glue dot to just go behind the back you'll just put one on there and then you could use them possibly again but i'm going to be done with it after this one time so i'm also loving this color palette guys and oh my god so many die cuts came i got two packs um so many came so i really still have a lot left to do things with so that's pretty exciting I'm gonna put her on a little, on a little slant, just for some personality, just for a little angle over there. And then we're gonna have loved beyond measure. Yes, yes, yes. I wish that I would have had these girls when I did the stronger uh, together planner challenge, um, and if that was going on in the planner community on Instagram, because these girls would have rocked. They would have rocked for that. And I'm just gonna slightly cover them up with that. It almost looks like it's a part of them. And then smooth, smooth, smooth. This could totally be your spread. You would not have to add anything, um, but because I know I'm gonna write my scriptures and reflections, probably just a scripture, and then I'll have a, another reflection page. But um, I was thinking about maybe putting some checklist strips there, but I don't know, I may not mess with it, but I definitely need numbers. So I've been thinking, where do I have like a watercolor type fill number? So I'm gonna dig in my Happy Planner stash. So I've decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my flower down over that colorful uh, die cut box up there. So I don't have to fuss with too many, um, too much date stuff anyway. So I'll just cover that where the date would usually go. You know what I mean? Um, hold on. Oops. I kind of want it. See what I mean? Once you put them down, ooh, they get kind of really tacky really fast. I want it this way, though. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So then I can just do a few. And I saw these in one of my American Craft sticker books. And I was like, why not do something real chill and not too popping i think that's the route i'm gonna go 29 they complement it really well but they're not too in your face because i have a lot of bold letters but for the spread it's just not necessary june 30th and then that takes us to july the first yes i like that barely there but I can see it. I know what it is. The second. 
I mean, that might have went a little wild with that. Um, oh no, it's 29, 30, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. No, it's the 30th, 31st. Jeez. Hold on, let me see. Oh no, I was right. 29, 30. June only has 30 days, right? Yeah. One, two. Let's, let's double check that. I'm almost sure. June, I'm like, yeah, June has 30 days. So that would be Monday the 29th, the 30th, the 1st, the 2nd. It still seems off. Monday would be the 29th, the 30th. Oh, the 1st. <laughs> we, okay, I'm like, what happened? I covered up one. So one is not needed. Okay. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. One's not needed. So now two moves down. I was about to say something is off. So that's July the 2nd. Perfect. This is July 3rd here. Don't be like me, guys. Use a pencil and mark your date so you don't, you don't get all, um, all lost with your dates, okay? Third, um, the fourth, and the fifth. And then that's a done deal. So if you like these really faint dates, I'm gonna show you the sticker book in just a second. <clears throat> that I got those out of. Perfect, dates done. Um, South Spread is just looking so gorgeous. And that's from whatever American Craft sticker book this is. I don't know the name of it, but that's why I got the numbers. And I also pulled out uh, Womankind because Womankind sticker book by the Happy Planner has some great watercolor situations and I was thinking that I want to have let's see did I want to have a few checklists and how do I like that let's see let's see because I could totally just and I'm putting these real sloppy guys because I don't know if we're going to use them Hmm, it's kind of cute. But then I could totally just write in the spaces I need to write in and then use my, my midliners. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to keep it really clean, write in, and then um, just use my my midliners to highlight and stick with the color, the color theme. What do you guys think? I'm indecisive. Just because that brought the gold for you and... Not to say gold foil wouldn't have been really pretty in this spread. I just, I just don't think I want it. I think I want to keep it clean, but then I'm like, oh, it looks so pretty with checklists. So I'm doing that indecisive thing that I did. For right now, this me creating that Faith Planner spread using die cuts, Illustrated Faith. Make sure you check them out. I do have the, oh, cool. This is what the back of the uh, die cut package looks like for both of them. You can get it straight from the website, Illustrated Faith, or you can go on to Amazon the way I did and order them. So let's pop them in a disc so you can get that look. And then we're on our way. So my whole, oh, I didn't trim either. Okay, let's trim. So we went a little off the page right there. So we gotta trim that. Gotta trim over here. We didn't. Okay. Where is this going in my planner? Oh, it looks really pretty. It looks really pretty with the clear disc. And I'll come on and show you guys how it comes out after the pen. But that's what it looks like with the clear disc. So it's very pronounced that that washi line that um, I was liking. But I like this spread, I'm excited about this spread and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create it. Until next time, I am Crafty Planner Queen. Please follow me on Instagram at Crafty Planner underscore Queen and subscribe to my page. See you next time guys, happy planning, bye.